Okay, so finally got some UI customization in um, using this uh, vertex debug view on here. So you can see all these different IDs attached to the, the ship. And um, this has been really helpful because then you can see when there's an error, so I should have it putting out Magenta if it doesn't have an ID. And so in Houdini, uh, we've got set up, or the original was here with the octahedron. And so worked out the kinks with the algorithm on this simple shape. So now getting to a more complex one, um, what we have is our model and then we can break it out into individual parts and so i have this thing that's supposed to like detect interlopers or failures like in the, the selection system and it's not quite working so i was going to update the algorithm a little bit it's like i don't have this thing for for checking zeros and so now this should show up as an error so then i can kind of like catch this next time but over here, i uh, got to decide what color group to put it with. And I was thinking maybe with this one here, this color group three, which is really generic. I don't know what the name of the object is. So i got to figure that out as well. Uh, actually, there is a way to not, you can just use a selector here. Hey, if you can come here, I think use group, select groups. And yeah, there we go. Hopefully this doesn't. Yeah, so hold shift, click. I got that group added, which I guess is called field tank or something. So. All right, there we go. So now it's added in. And then I can re-export all of this and do that quick error check there. I don't see. There are some little anchors in there, but those will get deleted. Uh, they're not going to actually be a part of the final geo. Uh, another thing I had to change was uh, in the pack, I needed to pass out the CDV. So we're writing to vertex colors here. So you can kind of visualize it. But ultimately, putting these IDs in the vertex colors is a way to way to go because we don't actually want to color the ship uh, let me see yeah so we don't actually want to color the ship we just want to assign like these colors will be the same and then players can decide later um, what that'll be and so I'll come here let's just like save this out so I'll re-export this later fix that but then over here uh, with this guy we're gonna have another material for customizing let's see my player comic all right so there's this guy and this one, uh, we've got it wired up to a little, this, I started migrating over the HUD and working on the interactivity with, within Unreal. And so it's pretty cool. Um, some of the problems are fixed automatically, like tooltip hover and uh, what else? Like function callbacks and stuff. So like that's for free, the tooltip hover. Um, and there's a lot of other things too, like the screen resize. So this isn't a full HD screen, but it's still showing up, right? Uh, so that's also really cool um, that you get for free. And so here is where I got, so now I've got it to where you can mess with the UI and, and modify the colors. And so I need to fill out the rest of the UI to where you can add in features like metallic or like how much metallic you want or how much uh, specular and other other shader features and like the, the colors are just one dimension of that. And then also customizing the rest of the ship because it's just uh, ID one that we're setting right here. So, so yeah, that feels good uh, to get that out. And at this point, just need to get the rest of the ship and then start importing the other ones. And I'll have to come up with a, a, get a better understanding of how to like select things in the world and then tie that into the Uh, what is it called? This main guy here. Because right now I'm just sort of hacking this, where as soon as the game starts, we create this HUD widget, and then I'm grabbing all actors of interface, and then checking for one that has a specific tag. So the idea is that in the actual game, what we'll do is by clicking around and whatever the final interface is going to be, what it'll do is it'll set that tag on the on the object at runtime. Which my gosh, there's so many objects in here. It spawns things. So like it would set this tag here and then that's what would control the customization. So that's the plan. Uh, so far so good. I just have to kind of keep going with this and see it through here.